the wireless security attack methodology is almost identical to wired attacks in that we start by taking the big picture. I start by footprinting the network, looking around, seeing what's out there. Is there a wireless network in my target at all? And if there is, what are the access points? What are What is the identifier there? And then I'll start sniffing the wireless traffic, just like I would with wired traffic. The only difference is I'll typically need a special wireless network adapter that will allow me to sniff traffic that I'm not supposed to get. So the promiscuous mode side of things. Those adapters are a little bit different, but they're very readily available. And the same wireless network sniffing tools like Wireshark actually work just fine on wireless networks as long as the right adapter is in place. And then analyzing the traffic using the same techniques automated or manual, doing searches, doing filters, and so forth, to actually look for vulnerabilities, to look for sensitive data, to look for things like clear text passwords. All kinds of stuff like that can easily come out of a network analysis on the wired side. Those same bits of data, those same vulnerabilities and opportunities do present themselves on the wireless side as well. I told you earlier that WEP, or Wired Equivalent Privacy, has been cracked, and it's actually been cracked for quite a while. It's an easy compromise. There's easy vulnerabilities to exploit there. And most commonly, what I'll simply do is look for the newest, coolest techniques or fastest, most efficient ways to crack WEP right before I'll do an attack. This screenshot is actually, all I did was type WEP crack into Google, and you'll see that I got 4.85 million results, give or take, a lot of them are videos, a lot of them are step-by-step -step guides, some deep information. Many of them are updated for the newest versions of software or cracking tools. Many of them are updated with new techniques and approaches. That's fantastic stuff. I do recommend that if you're going to do any kind of web cracking, if you find web in your target environment and you want to bring an attack against that, you just take a look at the most current techniques, just Googling it. My favorite tool for this typically is Backtrack, the Backtrack Linux distribution. And you'll see here there's 384,000 hits, give or take, on using Backtrack specifically to crack WEP. I can often crack wireless with WEP if, if WEP is what's protecting it in six minutes, seven minutes with virtually no extra hardware and the software is free. In fact, this is a screenshot of a recent attack that I did uh, as proof of concept. And you'll see that on the screenshot on the left, I've actually hacked or cracked the web using brute force attack. And it took, yeah, about six and a half minutes from the beginning, actually literally from the time I booted up Backtrack to the time I was able to get the key. Uh, and it says decrypted correctly 100%. About, yeah, just under seven minutes. On the right side, you could actually see Backtrack showing all of the BSSIDs, uh, SSIDs, channels, and so forth that are in use. And you could actually see the cipher and authentication, uh, all that kind of stuff displayed very easily for you. So you don't really need commodity hardware. You don't need expensive software. You don't need wireless survey gear. That's great for administrators. That's great for uh, planners and and wireless networking experts, but for attacking this, you don't really need much more than a free Linux distribution and an inexpensive network card that does this kind of attack within Backtrack, and you can crack WEP in, yeah, six to seven minutes or so, depending on your signal strength, uh, depending on the target access point. Some access points are a little bit more resistant to these types of attacks, and some are simply not. This one in particular was not. It was a real easy crack. And rather than showing you the animation, take a look at the steps on the web. Uh, it's about seven or eight steps, and it's fairly long. Type, 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 and then wait. It's, it's not very difficult to do. It's just following the steps exactly. Once the network is compromised, actually, it depends entirely on what's going on here. Typically speaking, what I'll do is, is get on the wireless network, however I'm going to get on the wireless network, and then continue to capture traffic, continue to sniff, typically make it easier for me to get back into the wireless network by reconfiguring the access points, 
looking for access controllers, trying to hack those. If the access point itself doesn't have the default password, oftentimes the access controller for the wireless network does have the default password. Those are things that enable me to get back in forever until I present my report and recommend very strongly that the passwords get changed and, and get managed properly. Once I've got that point of re-entry, I will associate with the network, continue the attack by penetrating other systems, penetrating servers, uh, punching holes out. So once I'm inside the wireless network, remember I'm inside the network, so firewalls and intrusion detection systems typically speaking, are not pointed in my direction. They're not going to be looking for an attack from this side. So I can conduct a lot of attacks, denial of service and vulnerability scans that can't be conducted from outside the network or even from the DMZ. They can be conducted from the wireless network. And that's fantastic. And if not, I'll certainly use the wireless network to attack a system that will be in a trusted place that can then conduct the attacks on my behalf. And finally, what I'll do is I'll pray that they're not using 802.1x and WPA2 because if they've got a really solid 802.1x and WPA2 deployment, the wireless network is not going to be very vulnerable. It's going to be a very lengthy, difficult process and I'm probably going to be miserable at the end because it's not going to be successful. These technologies, when properly planned and implemented, are extremely resilient against an attack.